Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. So today we are going to dive into culture because we are going to be starting our culture project, which will be our end of the unit project. So you can either take notes on the hard copy that I passed out or on the Google Slides um, document that is in Google Classroom, your choice, totally up to you. You just need to have access it access to it for the next two units. So here we go. Definition of culture. So culture is values, traditions, and views that are shared by a group of people. These values, traditions, and views can be seen in common history, geographic location, language, government, religion, and customs. So we're going to look at each of those examples. So what does culture look like in the United States? We are doing history and geography of the Western Hemisphere, but we are going to use the United States as our example for today's lecture. So common history. These are things that groups of people or countries have in common. They come from the same background. So the two examples I chose are the American Revolution and the American Civil War. So these are two important wars in U.S. history that bind the United States together. The American Revolution created the country and the Civil War redefined um, who was covered under the Constitution. So a common history is shared significant events that impact a group of people. Shared significant events that impact a group of people. A couple other common history things for the United States are the Civil Rights Movement, which happened in the 60s, around the same time as NASA sends astronauts to the moon. So the Civil Rights Movement occurred in various communities of color, from African American community to the Latino community to the Asian American community. Um, and so it's very significant for a lot of the legislation and laws we have today. And landing on the moon was a major accomplishment during the Cold War because the United States wanted to beat the Russians um, to the moon, and we did. All right, geographic location um, is another part of culture. So this could just mean like where someone is located. So, for example, the Western Hemisphere. We are located in Las Vegas. That could be a geographic location. Um, there's a culture in Las Vegas, uh, the South, um, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Brazil. All these places are locations, geographic locations, that help give some culture to groups of people. Languages. So language is what you speak. In the United States, there are three main languages. So the primary language everybody speaks is English. The second language most people speak is Spanish. And the third language most people speak is Chinese. And so these languages help to create a culture because you can communicate with other people. If you can speak Spanish, you can communicate with different groups of people than if you could only speak English. Same thing with Chinese. If you can speak Chinese, you can communicate with different groups of people than you could if you only spoke English, which is then broadening your culture and the groups of people that you are able to socialize with. Government. So in the United States, we have a representative democracy. Um, so government is how a country, city, or state is ruled. And so in our country, we have a republic, which is a representative democracy, which means there are people who represent us. There are people we elect, and they are supposed to represent our desires and our needs. And so the signing of the Declaration of Independence declared our independence from Great Britain. And then after we won the American Revolution, we wrote the Constitution so that we could found our country on certain principles. So these are two governing documents of the United States. So religion. Religion is a belief system that certain people belong to. 
In the United States, there is freedom of religion as protected by the First Amendment in the Bill of Rights, so people can practice whatever religion they want. This is not the case in every country. Some countries have to practice Catholicism or a certain type of Islam or Judaism, um, but some commonly practiced religions are some form of Christianity, so that could be Catholicism, Mormonism, um, etc., um, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism are all various religions practiced in the United States. Customs. So customs are certain traditions or holidays or ways of doing things that happen in a particular culture. So for example, so customs again for your definition are a certain way of doing things in a culture. So for example, in the United States, we celebrate Thanksgiving to mark the founding of the country. The Pilgrims uh, learning, quote unquote, the Pilgrims learning from the Native Americans. Later this year, we'll look into the myth of Thanksgiving and if that's actually what really happened. We have President's Day to celebrate the presidents of our country. We just had Labor Day, that's why we had off. And it's interesting and this is what makes American culture American culture, is the rest of the world celebrates Labor Day May 1st. But when Labor Day was created, the United States did not want to have any ties to communism or socialism, so they moved Labor Day to September. So that may, that's part of American culture, right? We chose a different day for our Labor Day. So that's American culture. Customs, again, are certain... Um, habits or traditions or holidays that people follow in a certain culture. Some other customs we have in the United States are Martin Luther King Jr. Day in January and the 4th of July to celebrate the founding of our country. So cultures around the world vary from place to place. This man right here in the picture is Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain is a world-renowned food critic. And he has traveled to many exotic places. For each place he visits, he creates a quick guide to his destination called Field Notes. So what I'd like you to do for homework tomorrow is to watch an introduction to Anthony Bourdain. So that's Wednesday's homework. And then we are going to read an example of his Field Notes and watch a, that episode that goes with the Field Notes later this week to prepare you for writing your own field notes as our Unit 1 project.